I wear number 22. Um, it brings a lot of tradition to our program. A lot of great guys have worn it, and uh, I'm proud to wear it myself. Now that I wear number 22, um, I, f I feel like um, I have some pressure to bring Syracuse back to the championships. Last year we won it. Um, I think we restored our program after having a rough year in 2007. And um, you know, I'm really happy to uh, be, be here right now at 7-1 or 8-1 and, one, and um, you know, on our way to another championship. Or so he hopes so. The legend of 22. Some great players in Syracuse history have gone with that route. And it's not easy. Now, Dan Hardy asked for it coming out of Tully High School just south of Syracuse. Gary Gate was the key player there to wear 22. His sophomore year, which was 1988, would go on to be the best offensive player in the game's history. And from there, it's steamrolled. Charlie Lockwood and the Powell brothers. Question marks who would wear it in this senior class. That was four years ago. Would it be Parrott? Would it be Nims? Would it be Dan Hardy? You see, Nims wanted to wear his dad's number. You see Ox on the back of his helmet. That is for his former teammate at Tully High School, Keith Oshner, who recently passed away. Keith was a Marine serving overseas for our country. The number seven also on the back on the helmets for Syracuse in tribute to Brian Crockett, former great midfielder Why? for the Orange, killed recently in a car crash. AG for Aaron Guanic Molo, a former Syracuse player who died last year in an auto accident. A lot to tribute there, certainly on the back of the Syracuse headgear. Penalty flags fly as the shot put right on by Peyton. Push and a penalty will come against the Orange. Sid Smith knows it. He's going to go to the box. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. 1-7 with the push, 30. 1-7 push. We called, we called possession. Team White, welcome. push. 30 seconds. 30 second push on Smith. Third extra man try of the day. Here for Duke. Watch this play. This is an unbelievable play right here. The save. Joel White scoops it up in midair, goes behind his back to a teammate. That kid's a whiz, I'm telling you. That, He's that, unbelievable. He, he is. He's something special. It'll be interesting next year. Will, it, will they play him at midfield? Defensive midfield? Both? We asked him yesterday, a smile on his face, when he said, uh, yeah, short stick probably in my hands next year. He was recruited by Boston College to play basketball. Good point guard at Cortland High School. Also a soccer star. So, quite an athlete. Not far from Syracuse. In front, Tory can't handle it. Comes the chronic. Picked off. How about the hands for Matt Abbott? Hey, watch out. To Wharton finalist. And look at the wheels, too. Just floats. That's up. That's up. Into the offensive box. He is something to watch at full speed. You remember back in the first quarter when Crotty fed Howell how upset Abbott was. He thought he was in that passing lane. Gets him that time. Keep that stick up. See the ball, a little air traffic control. And that's why Matt. Abbott is a Tawar time finalist. It's not all about goals and assists. Man down he for had a minute step out. on the slash. The third slash call is... against Duke. Get a personal and foul. A Three here. five blue with a slash to the back. One minute. Three five blue with a slash to the back. One. That's what his burger tells us. McKee will sit for the next 60 seconds. Coverage of the NCAA Lacrosse Championship concludes on ESPN HD Monday at 1 Eastern. Winner of this game looks like Syracuse right now takes on the winner of. Cornell top seed in Virginia. The NCAA Lacrosse Championships presented on ESPN by Enterprise Rent a Car Monday. For more, log on ESPN.com. Syracuse man up, six on five, first time today. EMO for them. Might not last long. Airmail beyond the reach of Hardy. It's not easy, he's about six five. <laughs> Syracuse and Matt Tierney will get it back here. Ball goes out on that sideline. You hear the horn. Team's allowed to substitute. The play is stopped momentarily. Ball goes out on the end line. That's a seamless, that's a quick restart. All substitutions must be done on the fly. Yeah, it's up there. 40 seconds up there. It's a man up clearing situation. And you look at John Donowski, a subdued John Donowski, potentially the fourth straight year of playoff disappointments. You go back to his 2006 Oscar team. Lost to UMass overtime, quarterfinals on a Jim Conley game winner, a ferocious UMass comeback to break the hearts of Hofstra.
Schofield some speed, but it's checked from behind. Another good trail check. Now penalties coming on Syracuse as Schofield just got slammed into the crease. And Duke love a man up here. Unnecessary, one minute, two, two. It's gonna be Dan Hardy, unnecessary roughness. Number 22, White. Unnecessary roughness, one minute. Now Hardy understanding that that area right in front of the goal is no man's land. If you're gonna take a, take a penalty, that, that's the time and place for it. I think Coach Desco is more upset with that clearing opportunity. Remember, Syracuse had the extra man in that clearing scenario. They turned the ball over right in front of the box. That was sloppy. Sometimes it's okay to take a penalty. His dad, Bill, played at Syracuse. Brother Tom won two titles. Dan would like to join his brother with a second ring this weekend. We'll see. Great shape here in the semis. Teams are even right now, playing nine on nine. And now Duke has the extra man. One for three so far with the man up. See Duke, trouble finding the net in three losses. Harvard, John Tillman in the second year, to Cornell and Maryland. In their wins, a different scenario. Ross Hughes got blocked, couldn't find the ball. Turi looks for the loose change. Juan Ignalo all over it on the man down unit. Five seconds! Five seconds! Five seconds! A couple of moments left in this man up try. Here are stats from the game with our Coke Zero game track. Quinzani scores to add to the stats. Cashing in. Third for him, 14-7. Down seven, Quinzani from Justin Turry, the redshirt freshman. Still on the extra man. It's just draw a man and keep the keep it hot. You see Syracuse now even top of the box. They get their guy. And Smith late to slide. Turry steps in, gets the defense in motion. Smith 17's got to get to Quinzani a little quicker. Jake Moulton, Sam Payton again, as they've done most of the day. Battle face-off picks taken away by Syracuse and White. 